Today we're going to show you how to save time by editing your photos on the go using Lightroom Mobile. You have all the same controls that you love from Lightroom on the desktop available on your phone. So I just got back from a trip to San Francisco and I love to save time by editing my photos on the go. So I've got some of my images pulled up and we're going to see we can beautifully edit these using Lightroom Mobile. Let's go ahead and start with our first image. I took this in the John Muir woods. They're the redwoods just outside of San Francisco. I photographed these images using my mirrorless camera as well as the included camera app here in Lightroom and all of them are raw. Now I remember this being a little bit more of a moody day. So we're gonna take our exposure and just drag this down just a little bit. Okay, that looks great. Let's go ahead and take our highlights down as well. And we're gonna bring our shadows up just a little bit. Now this is a great tone for the overall image, but right in the center, I wanna bring a little bit more light and a little bit more warmth. So we're gonna open up our masking tools. Let's go to mask. I'm gonna hit plus here and we're gonna go ahead and add a radial gradient. Now we're gonna click here in the center and drag out. You can change this size at any point in time. All right, this looks looking really good. Let's go to our feathering options. So we can choose less feathering or more feathering. We're gonna feather this all the way out. And then I'm gonna go into my light slider. Let's go ahead and add a little bit more exposure here in the center of the photo. That looks great. And in our color, we're gonna go ahead and bring up our color temperature to make it a little bit warmer. Uh, this is looking really beautiful, nice and natural, just the way that I remember. Okay, let's go ahead here. I wanna adjust my mask just a little bit. Let's go ahead, bring down our color slider and we're gonna bring our mask just a little bit larger and hit that checkbox. Now, as we can see, I'll just turn off my editing. Here's our before and the after. The before just looks like a snapshot from a regular camera and the after looks like a beautiful edited photo. Now in our next example, let's go ahead and back here. We've got a picture here of the Golden Gate Bridge and I'm gonna start off by going to my edit. We're just gonna hit auto and see what it does. Already this looks good. Now the last photo was taken on my camera. This photo was taken on my phone and I wanna bring a little bit more color into the foreground. So let's go into our color. We're gonna to go to color mix and we're gonna start with our green. I'm gonna bring up the saturation of our greens and of our yellows. There we go, really getting a lot of color and I wanna bring up the saturation of the Golden Gate Bridge. So we're gonna go ahead and grab our reds and bring up the saturation there. And we can see this is looking really, really good. I can click and hold, to see there's the before and the after. Already, I really like this image. Let's click on done and go back to our light slider. I'm just gonna add a little bit more contrast there we go, that looks fantastic. So these are looking good. Now the last one we wanna do in this series actually has a parking lot in the front of this image and people standing around, but I thought the top part of this photo looked really beautiful. I photographed these images using my mirrorless camera as well as the included camera app in Lightroom, which allows you to shoot 16-bit raw DNG images. So we're gonna start off by using our crop tool. Now we're gonna to go to our settings and I'm gonna make sure to choose the one-to-one -one crop and let's go ahead and crop in. So we just have the trees and the moon. All right, I think this looks great. So this is about the crop that I want. Let's hit that checkbox there. So our image is looking great, but if I zoom in, I can still see some of the tops of the sailboats. So we're gonna remove these using generative AI. Let's click on our remove tool, make sure that generative AI is turned on. Let's go ahead and bring our image up. And then I'm gonna simply paint over these sails. Fantastic, or I guess these are you know, the masts of the sailboats. Now I can click on refine and go through some different variations to make sure we get exactly what we want. That looks good, let's click on done. Now here on the left hand side, we have like a little street lamp there. So we're gonna go ahead and paint over that to remove this as well. I want it to look like a beautiful nature shot. Fantastic, and I've got a tiny bit of a building right there. So we're just gonna paint over that and remove that as well. All right, fantastic. Let's hit that checkbox and everything is removed. And then we're left with this beautiful nature photo of the moon. Of course, I can go into my edit settings now. I can go ahead and bring our exposure up just, well, you were gonna bring our exposure down and then I'm gonna bring my shadows up just a little bit. Fantastic. I love how this photo has turned out and we were able to remove everything we didn't want with generative AI. So as you can see, you have the full power of editing your images on the go with Lightroom Mobile.